Hey everybody, Art Burns here, coming at you from the backyard at, at dusk. It's a, just a wonderful, beautiful time of day. And um, there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one is that I wanted to get some fresh air. I'm just getting tired of being cooped up inside all the day. And I'm going to be honest with you that my children have basically taken over the inside of the house at this point, and I'm, I'm a little afraid. So this is a little bit of an escape for me as well. Um, but, but I just got done actually with a group client call uh, just a few minutes ago. And, uh, and I thought originally like, okay, I got to record a video for, for, you know, to put on, uh, you know, social media and YouTube and stuff. And I thought originally about going inside and setting up the lights and, and so I get better light. But then I realized that this is a perfect opportunity to talk about what I wanted to talk about today which is impermanence, okay? When you sit at, at a time of day like dusk or, or dawn, you know, you, you really get a sense of the impermanence of, of our experiences. You know, and you, obviously this is from the light of the sun, you know, as, it, as the, the earth is rotating and the sun is no longer shining from above, you know, we can, we can really get a sense of the, of the constant changing, at, you know, sort of attitude of, of everything that we're going through, you know, starting again with the light that we're seeing. But then we can understand that that also applies to all of our circumstances in life. Life. It applies to our physical sensations and it applies to just about every aspect of our lives. You know, you know, kids are constantly growing. They're never the same one day to the next. Um, you know, your pain is never a static thing. If you, if you, you know, no matter how much pain you're in, you know, you can always, you know, sort of pay attention to that pain and realize that it's not just this constant feeling that you're having, right? You can sort of sense as you, as you hold it in awareness and you accept it, right? You can sort of realize that it's a constantly changing thing. And that's the magic word, right? As I've been talking about all week is acceptance, right? And, and when we can pay attention to the impermanence of all of our circumstances, all of our physical sensations, the circumstances of our lives, and even something as basic as the light changing at dawn and dusk, right? It gives us the ability to then really, you know, accept things. It gives us the ability to develop this habit and attitude of acceptance. And, and this is, again, what's going to help because... When we can accept things and we sort of accept the impermanence of things and we pay attention to the impermanence of things, you know, we realize that the bad things that we're going through, right, the pain, the whatever suffering we might be feeling, the, you know, the, the anxiety that we might be feeling, the, the nature of the coronavirus and, and the, you know, um, social distancing and these things, you know, they're not going to be here forever. You know, they're not. And they're going to change every single day, even, even minute to minute throughout the day. And, and likewise, the good things in our lives, right? The, the, the vacations, the, the beautiful dinners that we have, the beautiful times that we have with our, our friends and family, those also are never static. They're never constant. They're never permanent. Everything is constantly changing. And so there's a really great practice you can do to, to sort of, you know, become aware of these changes throughout your day. And uh, what I would suggest and something I suggest to my my uh, clients that I work with and I'm fortunate enough to work with is, you know, remind yourself every day at say 10 a.m., 12 noon, uh, 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Those are just random times. You can do it any four times of the day, but but in four spaced out times of the day, just take a little notebook and just just examine what you're feeling. You know, sometimes I, I tell people to put it in terms of their weather, right? Like, is it, are you feeling stormy inside? Are you feeling, you know, bright and sunny? Are you feeling gloomy and foggy? You know, what are you feeling? You know, just, just kind of write down some some adjectives of how you're feeling and 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 write it down four times a day and go back at the end of the day and look at how different each time was and I guarantee you it's different you're never going to have the same four things all day I mean obviously if you're going through something very heavy that it could be sort of uh, you know prevailing that way but but generally you'll see that it's constantly changing and doing this practice is going to help you appreciate the impermanence of everything and that is going to lead to acceptance which is really a game changer especially in times like this where we're locked in our houses and being held captive by, you know, eight and 11 year old children. And, uh, and that, you know, and just knowing that it's not going to last forever and it will help you. It'll help reduce the stress and the anxiety, the perhaps some de depression you might be feeling. And, and it will allow you to, to see things with a clear mind and, and really come up with creative ways to, uh, to have meetings outside, to get away from the kids for a little while or, or play games with them or do things that are going to make the, the situation better rather than making it worse. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening. Uh, wish you well and uh, going to enjoy the rest of this dusk out here. And uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye bye.